Hey guys, welcome to the bonus reading for the sign of Sagittarius. I want to thank all of you for your likes, comments, shares, shares, subscriptions. It means so much to me. Hope you guys are all having a good week so far. Sending you love and light always. As usual, this will be a general collective reading, so this may not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest, but this could resonate with you if you have placements in Sagittarius or you are dealing with somebody that does. Also, please take a moment to read through the description box. You can find information there about my services, about how these readings work and how to interpret them, and other information that I would really love for you to read through. So please take a moment to do that. Sagittarius. What do my Sag viewers need to know at this time, Spirit? Some of you guys be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have communication coming in from an earth sign or you guys are extending some type of communication to an earth sign about a union, about a relationship. Whoa, guys, so, there's communication coming in. Somebody's going to be trying to initiate some type of new beginning in love with you. Wow. And this may come in very unexpectedly. It's going to catch you off guard. Queen of Wands. justice yeah you guys are reaping some type of karma here there's a lot of energies here though that's the only thing that's a little strange so um we have the queen of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn we have um scorpio energy here we have the queen of wands sagittarius oh um, goodness what is it? aries leo sag energy sagittarius we have libra energy here and we also have water energy here pisces cancer scorpio I feel like you guys have like gotten over some type of situation where somebody didn't reciprocate something to you or there was an unequal give and take in a situation. It was unbalanced. That left you feeling very disappointed. It left you feeling very sad, pessimistic. But I see that you guys are finally feeling more secure within yourselves, feeling very, you're, you're like doing very well financially, just feeling very like, I feel like you're happily single. You're not really dwelling on that situation anymore. Yeah, it's like it, it's maybe took hits to your self-worth or your self-esteem, made you feel very low, but I see you guys are doing a lot better. If And if this situation did take hits to your finances, I see your finances have improved. Um, All right, what's this tower moment? The magician. I feel like somebody's gonna have like this sudden like drive or sudden like want to progress a situation or be very determined to manifest something here. And it's gonna just come like out of the blue. Like somebody's just gonna have like an out of the blue um, willpower to do something. That's what I'm seeing here. All right, so what's this communication? What's this eight of wands or this progress? So, yeah, somebody's communicating something about a new beginning. It's like all of a sudden somebody has the drive and the determination to manifest a new beginning in a situation. Or like to reach out, to try to come into union. What's this queen of five of swords? Hmm. Tell me about the five of swords and the queen of pentacles. Somebody could be having a conflict with a... Hmm... I could see, I see two people here. This is like a, what does this mean for my Sag viewers? Six of Swords. There's some type, some type of divine intervention here. Oh no, what is that? That's um, Awakening, Judgment. Somebody's, there's a lot of major arcanas here. There's some type of big transition. Ten of Wands. 
somebody's making a decision to release a burden or put a situation down that something's too heavy they want to release it now they've gained the clarity about this it definitely looks like it could be a relationship or what's the two of cups yeah somebody's coming in with communication about wanting a union but i'm not really sure what does this clean up what's this mean for my two of wands What's this Ace of Cups mean for my Sag viewers? So whatever this new beginning that's come in love is coming in for you, it looks like it has the potential to be something long-term and stable. All right, what's this Queen of Wands? What's this Queen of Wands? This definitely is giving me third party vibes, guys. Somebody's getting a new perspective here. It could be this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or somebody's getting a new perspective about a fire sign that they, or... That they want to manifest some type of new stable beginning here. Yeah, they want to try to resurrect a situation. Somebody wants to resurrect. They're looking at you differently and they want to have a new stable beginning with you. What's this justice card? I feel like this person had to leave somebody else behind. And it could have been somebody that they shared finances with. They had some type of stable situation with at some point. Temperance. Yeah, somebody wants wants to bring justice to a situation by reconciling. Bring balance to a situation. What's this Queen of Cups? Ten of Cups. Somebody, um... Seven of Pentacles. Somebody want, is going to express their emotions to you. That, they, that you made them very happy, very fulfilled here. They feel like you were a blessing to them. That you're a healthy choice for them. You're very healthy for them. Good for them. And um, they want to invest in you. All right. So what's this king? I need more clarity about this king and queen of pentacles. What is this? Nine of pentacles. Yeah. Somebody has freed themselves from something. Somebody is single from a situation. Yeah. They made a decision and love. They made a choice here. Yep. They made a choice. Yep, this was a third party situation, guys. This person made a choice and they're leaving something behind because they see stability with you. Knight of Cups, now they're coming in with this romantic offer. Yeah, they're done juggling. This person was definitely juggling or weighing their options, trying to make a decision here. Yep. All right, so. <laughs> goodness. They're viewing you as a blessing and they think that they can have stability with you, so they've made the decision to leave something behind and it could have definitely been an earth sign that they were dealing with now they want to manifest this union relationship but this is definitely a choice and love that they have between two people all right so tell me more about this situation spirit stop being paranoid so what does this have to do with my sad viewers put your so it's very important that somebody puts their kids first or that's what somebody has been trying to do. So maybe somebody, ooh, and it's over that. So guys, somebody was in this other situation with this other person because of the, they had probably have children with them. They had some type of, fi, they shared finances with them. It had nothing to do with love. It was either money or it was the fact that they had children to them. They were married to them. Something about that situation took priority over their connection with you. So that's why they were, um, you know, entertaining that situation. Um, there is a new, there. so Spirit says there's going to be a, a an opportunity presented to you in this situation. Now, it's probably going to require that you take a leap of faith, you know, because you're just, you know, you're going to be a little bit scared. But I see that there's, for this situation to come together, it's going to require a leap of faith. And Spirit says you guys got to stop being paranoid and don't project your insecurities into the decision that you make. So make sure that you're making a well thought out decision. Listen to your intuition. Don't let your insecurities make that decision for you. All right. About whether or not you take the leap of faith or not. All right. So tell me more about this. Yep. This person was dealing with a karmic. This was somebody was in a karmic situation. Hmm. Yeah. It's like they thought that that situation was going to be more financially stable for them. Maybe this person that they were dealing with made more money than you 
or they just thought that that situation was going to be more stable also this person has some inner child healing that they needed to go through and that was a big blockage for your um situation Oof! somebody also was like battling some demons tell me more about this demon <laughs> somebody is just like what is going on what is So guys, this person that I feel like it's their karmic that they're dealing with. This karmic is like a bear has a very has a darkness within them. Okay, this darkness that they've been dealing with is very jealous of you. They're jealous of how this person feels for you. All right. They don't understand. I feel like this person, this karmic is confused. This person, this karmic is, it, I think, wasn't the tower here? No, the tower did come out for you guys, I think. I feel like this karmic is going to be very shocked that um, this person is pursuing you. All right. They're going to be very shocked. They're going to be like, what is even what's going on? Like this person is going to have very harsh feelings for you once they um, realize what your person is doing, that they're coming towards you is what I'm seeing here. Where's my deck at? All right. This karmic is very dark, okay? It has a lot of darkness within them. Somebody has wanted to reconcile with you, but they were battling with their ego. It could have been pride. It could have been fear. They were afraid to reveal them their true self to you or their true feelings. But I'm telling you guys, somebody's coming in to reveal their true feelings to you. I feel like they're letting, they've had an ego death. They're ready to take the mask off. That's probably what I'm going to name this video. Yeah, and now it's leading to a lot of abundance, guys. Wow. Now there's going to be abundance in the situation because somebody finally wants to take the mask off. They want to show you their true self. They want to tell you the truth. Yeah, and look, guys, please hear me out. They want, they, they're hoping that you hear them out. They, they're hoping that you give them the chance to tell you these things or express their feelings to you. All right, so guys, let's take this over to the extended reading. Let's take a deeper look at this situation. Let's see what's about to go down between you and this person. This is definitely a third party situation. So let's take a look at that. Um, and whatever else I feel drawn to do in the um, extended reading, let's take a look to see what you guys are manifesting. Um, and yeah, whatever else. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that you guys could take something from this. And if you could, um, please, I would appreciate it if you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Personal readings are open. Reach out to me via email if you're interested in that. Um, don't forget to like and follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well. I'm going to try to get back into posting daily collective readings there. Um, but other than that, guys, I will see you over in the extended and thank you for watching. Bye.